What's going on guys and welcome back to a brand new episode of the Jurassic World Evolution 2 Sanctuary. As you can see we are in the snowy environment of Sierra Nevada and we are going to basically put dinosaurs in the snow. That's basically what we're going to do. So yeah, we got the snowy environment and uh, if you find yourself enjoying this video and want more content like this make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. It would really help out a ton. But with that, let's begin the video. All right, here we go at last. We've got the new herbivore spin wheel all reset and ready to go. And let's get right into it. We'll release, I think, five herbivores and three carnivores. Or even four carnivores, since this is a much smaller map. All right, so herbivore number one, what will it be? Alamosaurus, all right. What's herbivore number two gonna be? Dinochirus, okay. I wanted to remove that because I don't want to get confused. Where's Donacyrus? There it is. All right. What's herbivore number three going to be? Pachyrhinosaurus. We'll do six herbivores and four carnivores. What's herbivore number four going to be? Stegosaurus. All right. Two more. What's herbivore number five going to be? Microceratus. And then for herbivore number six, what will it be? Styracosaurus. Okay, so we'll go ahead and save that. All right, so we've got the six herbivores ready to go. So we've got Alamosaurus for one of them. Let's filter that to herbivores. Actually, you know what I should do? Change it up a bit. Instead of giving them a 25% chance of getting a gene, they have a 50% chance. Raise the stakes a bit. And then maybe for season six, we might up the chance by 75%. Just to change things up a bit even further. All right, so that's everything being released. We could start releasing the Microceratus. Let's start with that. All right, that's them done. Let's release the Pachyrhinosaurus next. Finally, on the first one, the Alamosaurus, the largest creature here so far. Alright, so these guys will take a little bit. Let's move on to the second one. Let's release the Dinochirus first. That's Dinochirus. Let's move on to Stegosaurus. So that's Stegosaurus released. Let's move on to Styracosaurus. Alright, so for herbivores we've got Three species of Ceratopsian, a species of Stegosaur, a species of Sauropod, and whatever the group Dinochirus falls in. 
All right, we've got all the herbivores out of the way. Let's move on to the carnivores. All right, and welcome to the carnivore spin wheel. Our first carnivore of the episode is... Oh, thank God. Okay, Segisaurus. Didn't start off with Scorpius Rex right away. So for the, the hyper-aggressive hybrids, I'm going to do the same thing we did last time. Oh, except this time I'll give them a 50% chance. We got Gigantoraptor coming, making a comeback. Gigantoraptor is making a comeback. All right, what's carnivore number three? Concavenator. And our fourth and final carnivore is... Ceratosaurus. Okay. So for the carnivores, we've got... Segisaurus, Gigantoraptor, Concavenator, and Ceratosaurus. In the meantime, let's just see what everyone wants. So, the Dinochirus will obviously like fish. So I'll throw some fish feeders over here. Just in case we get Piscivores roaming around here. There we go. We should be good. Alright, let's get the carnivores all hatched up and ready to go. Alright, let's release the Segisaurus first. Yeah, these guys are pretty small, so they'll probably be fodder for the Concavenator. I kind of like this one. I want to name you, kind of want to name you Jaguar, because you got a cool color scheme. All right, let's get the Concavenators out. Alright, so Concavenator should go after the Segisaurs. And let's add the, the last one in. Alright, and let's move on to the Gigantoraptors. And finally, Ceratosaurus. Alright, so, so far, Ceratosaurus is our apex predator. So now, let me just go ahead and turn everything on, and we'll be all set to go. There we go. Everything's been turned on, and just in case... Creatures wander over here. I'm just going to give them some food over here. So let's expand them. Maybe some some ground leaf over here. Some ground leaf over here. Just in case, you know. Some ground fiber maybe over here. And then some ground fiber a little over here. And then we'll have some... What was it? Tall fiber? Tall fiber over here. We already got a fight between a Stegosaurus and a Ceratosaurus. Okay. Okay. We'll have to see what happens here. This guy has fit, resilient, tolerant, social, strong, and defensive. And the Serato is small appetite, resilient, strong, and defensive. And they're glitching through each other. Wonderful. They're going to call off their fight. Oh, no, they do a little dance. All right, cool. Then we got two Stegosaurs in front of each other. They're calling off their fight. All right, cool. All right, where was I? Oh, yeah. I wanted to make sure these guys have plenty of food, so maybe some tall fiber over here. All right, we filled this place up with vegetation, so we'll have to wait and see what goes on. Meanwhile, we got the Gigantoraptors kind of just wandering around, minding their own business. What are these guys like? They do like some meat, and they also like ground leaf. We've got ground leaf, so they should have plenty of food. we got a biological preserve. And I'm sure as more and more dinosaurs progress, this area will fill up with a bunch of them. As time progresses. But for now, nothing's happening. we got two Gigantoraptors mm -hmm. duking it out, it looks like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's gonna happen. They're fighting for alpha dominance, even though neither of them are alphas. I 
I think. Yeah, this guy's the alpha. Yeah, I don't know. We got a Gigantoraptor kind of just wandering over here, feeding on some plants. That's cool. I love how the beak kind of clips. Alright, so these guys probably won't have much food. They're just kind of fodder in a way. We got two concavenators going at it against each other. Now, nowadays, they're just fighting each other for whatever reason. Oh, we got Stegosaurus and Ceratosaurus. We've got Fit, Long Lived, Humble, and Social against Small Appetite, Resilient, Strong, and Defensive. 71% against 100%. So the Stegosaurus did land the first hit in, for whatever reason. Do a little dance. The Serato's kind of on low health. They're calling off their fight. It's not looking too good for the Ceratosaurus. Not looking too good at all. Hmm. Alright. We'll have to see what goes on here. We got dinosaurs kind of spreading out over here. And these dinosaurs are kind of sticking together to the forests and whatever. Meanwhile, we've got a Dinochirus, I think, content. About to fight something. I think a Ceratosaurus. Can't really see because it's very dark out. Yep. Dinochirus and Ceratosaurus duking it out. We'll have to see what happens. Ouch. Two hits from Dino Kyrus. Ceratosaurus is fighting back a little bit. We'll have to see what happens. Oh! Yep. Dino Kyrus won that. Our first death, everyone. Ceratosaurus. What were your traits? Fit, resilient, and tolerant. And your traits were... Small appetite, fit, resilient, tolerant, strong, and defensive. That will definitely explain it. Got stegosaurs and gigantoraptors kind of just living together. We got this jet black serrano, which I think I'm going to name. Bruton. I'm going to name you Bruton. You know, from Disney's Dinosaur. You look like a Bruton. We've only got Ceratosaurs as apex predators. We got a fight between Bruton and a Stegosaurus. Well, I think the Stegosaurus did land the first hit in. What's next? Ceratosaurus lands the second. Dance. Bruton is at 20%. Yeah, it's not looking too good. He's gonna call off his fight. Bruton's retreating. I mean, we already had Mage. We've already had Sage. You can be Gage. You can be Gage. Gage the... the Stegosaurus. Alright, the Styracosaurs haven't really done anything yet. I think the Ceratosaurus was kind of eating his friend, I think. We got a Ceratosaurus fighting a Styracosaurus. That should be interesting. Unless they call it off here. Nope. Ceratosaurus completely one-shots it. Oh, Dr. Wu, why do you have to ruin the fun? With your sarcastic remarks. All right. For this Ceratosaurus, I'm, we got a couple of Ceratosaurus that are kind of the same color. Which is strange. So this, one of the Ceratosaurus has food anyway. Their toughest prey would probably be the Stegosaurus and the Dinochirus, I would imagine. And then if worse comes to worse, Alamosaurus. But the Alamosaurus are kind of just chilling over here. Well, I love how it gets up. It kind of just leans back a bit and then it launches itself. That's cool. 
How are we doing on Microceratus? Well, these guys are so small you can barely see them. I'm surprised the Concavenators haven't hunted down any any of these guys yet. Or the uh, Segisaurus. This guy might be thinking about it. The episode will be called Dinosaurs in the Snow. So, so far we've got two deaths. One Staracosaurus and one Ceratosaurus. He's got a Ceratosaurus. I, th I think Bruton is about to fight a Staracosaurus. You're at 60% health. I don't think you should be fighting that. I mean, you might still one-shot it, but I don't know. We got two Stegosaurus fighting each other. I think we got, okay, a call, uh, a, a call off. We got a Stegosaurus challenging Gage to a fight. They're calling off their fight. Alright. We don't have too many dinosaurs, so not much should happen around here. At the moment. We got some Segisaurs wandering over here. I'm surprised these guys have survived for as long as they have. And you know what? I might name you Anaconda. You can be Anaconda because of your color. We got a Microceratus that made its way all the way over here. All alone. Looking for food. But now you've got food anyway. You're all alone. Which isn't really a good idea. Considering you're filled in a world filled with giant dinosaurs that tower over you. Like the Gigantoraptor, the Stegosaurus, and the Ceratosaurus. Huh. We'll see what else happens. And if nothing else happens, I guess we'll end the episode there and I'll see you guys next time. We got one Alamosaurus just wandering over here. An all green Alamosaurus. Where's the other one? No, the other one's over here. Yeah, they're they're sticking together. Meanwhile, on the other side, we've got Dinochirus in the in the river. And another Dinochirus just sleeping just outside the river. Bruton, meanwhile, is fully healed and is about to fight something. A Stegosaurus. Will this go well for Bruton? I mean, he is strong and defensive. Oh no, it's a fake out. Alright. Up, we got a fight between Bruton and another Ceratosaurus. Bruton isn't really as strong. Hmm. Alright, they're calling it off. You're at 76%. You lost. Alright. Yeah, so the Dinochirus are kind of spreading out a bit. Which is good. The dinosaurs, you know, they're kind of spreading out. Not too much, but kind of. We kind of want them to spread out. Because I want them to cover the entire map. You know what I'm saying? Alright, not much is really going on, and I'm going to have to wrap it up for this episode. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. It would really help out a ton. But until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.